Sometimes I won't make anything for like a day or two, um, but other times I'll be like here eight, ten hours a day. If it's super late at night and I've just been making songs all day, I'll be kind of out of ideas and just not be so serious about making something, so that's kind of the time when some of the craziest shit comes about. I'm Dylan Brady and we are at my studio in Bedrock in Silver Lake, LA. I got out here through an invite from Lil Aaron. I was making a bunch of music in St. Louis with friends there. And we were just making tunes and putting them on SoundCloud, making songs we like. And I thought the whole time I was going to move to New York because that's where music was. But I was told that it's actually in LA. So dropped out of school and moved there. I think with my sound, I really like the idea of not having anything that's like extraneous or unnecessary and doing the whole idea with as few elements as possible. In the beginning, it was like really dark and distorted stuff, all in minor keys and dark and stuff like that. And then lately, since I've got here in the last two years, it's definitely gotten brighter, <laughs> doing more happy songs and that feels good now. I was making music at my apartment for like a year and a half being here. Couldn't really be very loud because my neighbor would bang on the floor with a broom at like 3 p.m. and I could never do anything. So I got this room and it was like, I want a fucking loud amp. So I looked up the one Tom DeLonge had from Blink on the first two albums and got that amp. I had like always listened to guitar music, like my dad always played that and I don't know why I never thought to do that, but I just started playing piano and was in choir and did that kind of music stuff at the, in the beginning. But um, my friend left a guitar at my apartment and I started playing that. And then he just said I could keep it, which is super sick. And I've just been messing around with that and trying to get better in the last like two or three years. That's been super fun. liking like Blink and Zeppelin and like Stevie Wonder but it wasn't until I heard Dark Fantasy where I was like I want to fucking make music <laughs> so that was kind of like the thing that got me to try and do it so I was definitely making a lot of um, Kanye type things in the beginning <laughs> but um, making all types of sounds now because there's all the other influences I had never tried to like tap into when I started playing guitar I got this new project called um, Peace and Love on Mad Decent. Very sonically not cohesive. The whole project is kind of just some songs that came together into being a project. I wasn't really like set out to do that. I was kind of trying to do this serious guitar thing. But I had made a bunch of songs while trying to make that. So that kind of just turned into the project with the other songs that I had made. definitely different than the other releases. Um, there's like rock shit, the 7-Eleven Jones, like a EDM song kind of. Like some, a lot of weird combos of sounds, kind of, more so than previous music. But still like, great melodies, hopefully. 